yeah, so today I'll be showing you how people got to the top of the Nariety leaderboards on Watch Dogs on the Xbox 360. Now, I'm pretty sure this works for all platforms, but this is how they did it on the Xbox 360. Now, you can see here, I'm in a world rank top 56% of uh, leaderboards, stuff like that. Now, you see at the bottom, I have 235 Nariety. When you go to Options and you go to Online, and you go to online invasions, when you start it off, it'll tell you that disabling invasions will reset your notoriety and you will have to play and all the unlocks will be lost. So you want to do that and you want to turn it back on and then you want to then go find the game. Now playing with a zero score here, it's like basically playing like level one. Even though you see that I'm on the leaderboards at 32,000 points, I'm now playing as a level one who just probably just got the game. And You'll notice that as you go up in the leaderboards, it's going to be harder and harder for you to find a game, and your opponents will actually have to be difficult. But if you're playing as a level 1, then you're not going to run into difficult opponents. St Teals and Silver both figured this out, and they've been playing against level 1s all night, and that's how they got... Teals got 60,000 points, and Silver got 33,000. And then I figured it out, and I thought I'd make this video to be fair and show it to everyone. Now you see I have my target right here. That was a shitty spawn for me. He's going to see me. He's going to tell my sister. I guess he doesn't want to tell me, so I'll just win this real quick. I guess he's profiling me through a camera or something. If he profiles me, I'm going to just cry. But as you can see here... Oh! Oh my gosh, he just made me jump. He made me jump so hard right there. Was it worth it? I think he's angry. But as you can see, I'm playing against noobs here, and I don't have to worry that much. Because it's a noob. And boom, that's 250 points right there for that game. And you guys want to know the double play here? Right after you get into a game as a low level, they want to put you against someone hacking you so you get your own turn. And here's a trick that I use to know when someone's in my game. I pause the game and I'll see the background moving. So not only did I just get into a game for tailing someone, someone already got into my game for hacking me. So if I can find this guy earlier, if I can find this guy, I'll have 250 points for winning that tailing game, and then another maybe 300 points for beating this guy. And he caught me back there, so let's see if I can find this guy and take him down real quick. Now he was on a bike too, and he just got off and ran somewhere. Oh, none of these people. People like this on the console piss me off. I learned my lesson. You have got to check the con the bushes on console. People will hide in here all day. That guy's running. Let's see if I can find him on the replay. No, he's not hiding in that little punch buggy. Yes, ma'am, I do have a gun. I am searching for a person that stole my, is stealing my stuff. You'd do the same thing if you had a gun. Look at that, he's in the bush, like I said.
He's not even in a good bush. I would have hit in a better bush. But as you can see, I got 346 points. And now I'm even moving up faster on the leaderboard than what a regular person would be moving at. Yet I'm already number three on the leaderboard. So having the notoriety system set this way really makes it at a disadvantage for someone who's actually playing legitly to go up the leaderboard who has 20,000, 30,000 CTO points or notoriety points from playing legitly in a one, one run. Meanwhile, these guys are just resetting their notoriety every five minutes to get up and they're just playing against noobs all day. So thanks for watching. You can do this method if you want, just to so you can show your friends, hey look guys, I'm high ranked on the leaderboard, but really, you're not really, you're just faking it. But, I want you guys to have a great day.